Sidewalk ATMs like this one are illegal in the city. Many residents we spoke with say they attract criminals and are unsafe. I've personally uh, had some friends that have been a victim of uh, uh, theft when using these like exterior ATMs. Which is one reason the city council passed a bill last week imposing steep fines up to $5,000 on property owners who have ATMs on their sidewalks. But just as Mayor Bloomberg was about to sign the bill, members of the newly formed New York City ATM Association spoke up. They say the fine would cost thousands of jobs and hurt some lower income neighborhoods that lack banks. The funds were drawn from our ATMs by our customers from their bank accounts generate much needed sales to local merchants and sales tax revenue to New York City. The owner of Graham Avenue Meats and Deli in Williamsburg says these sidewalk ATMs are a win-win for him and his customers. People over here sometimes they come in and they don't have cash on them and they go to the ATM. That's my main concern. So the mayor says he'll reconsider. I don't want to be the Grinch that stole Christmas. On the other hand, the city has uh, requirements where one of the issues here is the ability to pass on the sidewalk. Uh, these uh, units tend to be right in the middle of the sidewalk and there are plenty of people who don't like them the same way there are plenty of people that do like them. I am particularly concerned about jobs in this city, particularly with small businesses. But Council Speaker Christine Quinn says even if the mayor does veto the bill, her members will override it. People look at these ATMs on their streets, they find out they're not supposed to be there, and they're there. Mm. This will give the power for them to be taken off their streets. If the bill does become law, in addition to the fines, the city would eventually seize the ATMs. In Williamsburg, Tina Redwine, New York One.